Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about the barometer plot area on the Garmin Instinct 2 watch. I'm using the Instinct 2 Solar. It shouldn't matter whether you've got the Solar or non-Solar version. This video should work the same for everybody. I'll also say this is a feature that's available on the Instinct 1. There's really no difference other than the setting that we're going to be changing on our Instinct 2. We could also do on our Garmin Connect app for the Instinct 2. You can't do that with the Instinct 1. All of the settings have to be done on the watch on the Instinct 1. So barometer plot area. First, let's talk about the barometer. There's a few different ways you can actually look at this plot area. One of them is it can be set as a data field on some of the watch faces. If you look right here, I've got my barometric pressure showing up here at the top left, and then I've got this plot area that is showing my barometric pressure over a certain amount of time. I'm going to go ahead and press the up button. I've also got the barometer glance installed. And when we go into the glance, we kind of see the same thing. If you look at this little trend here, and I press back, it looks pretty similar to what we were seeing on my watch face. If I go into the barometer, I can see the same thing. Once you get in the barometer though, it'll tell you the actual value that you're seeing. You can see that it's showing my barometric pressure for the last 48 hours. Up top, I've got my current barometric pressure. I've got my low value for the last 48 hours. I've got my high value for the last 48 hours. Well, what if we want to change this? What if we don't want to see the last 48 hours? How would we do that? It's really simple. There's a few different ways you can get into it. The way I recommend is do it from your barometer glance. We're in our barometer right now. We are going to press and hold the menu button, which is the middle button on the left-hand side. There will be an option that comes up that says barometer options. We can press the top right button, which is our GPS button. It also acts as our select button. And the second option you should see under here is plot. Again, I'm going to press the top right button, and I'm going to go in, and you can change this from 48 hours to 24 hours, 12 hours, or 6 hours. Just so you can see a change, I'm going to go ahead and change mine to 6 hours. And then I'm going to press the back button to go back to my barometer. And you'll notice that my plot area looks totally different now because instead of looking at the last 48 hours, we're looking at the last six hours. I'll go ahead and go back to my main watch face. A lot of people think this is just a barometer glance value, but if you look at my watch face, the plot area on the watch face is totally different as well because again, we have changed that value from 48 hours to six hours. So now we're just seeing our barometric pressure trend over the last six hours. Really simple stuff. If you want to change that plot area, just go into your barometer, press and hold the menu button, press GPS to go into your menu uh, barometer options, go to plot, press GPS, choose whatever value you want, and you'll have successfully changed the barometer plot area. I hope the video helps. If it does, I hope you'll think about subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.